He said, where the law? He didn't say, where mom? Amen. He said, where the law? We told and told and overturned your captivity. Amen. Your pain, your sorrow. When he turned it around. Amen. It was like dream, children of the most high. Amen. It was like dream because why? when the mighty hands of God come in, we all know what is involved. Amen. When the Father that created the heaven and earth is involved, what may have been that impossible in your life, it becomes possible. Amen. 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 Hey, Holy Ghost. I pray for another study to now. Amen. I pray for you for another study to now. Amen. Say, when the Lord, the Lord, the most high, the one who died for you in the cross of Calvary, when he told your captivity, when he told that thing, that case they have concluded, amen, when he turned it around, oh, la rabo shadada, li kadaba shadada. Jesus. Holy Ghost. I pray for every children in this area. I pray for every children in this area. Every Yahoo boys that want to use you for sacrifice. Holy Ghost. And we drop death in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone that want to take these children in this area for sacrifice. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Say, when the Lord, when the Lord, you are going to wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand. Say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Every evil doer. Every evil doer. Around me. Around me. I want to take my children. I want to take my children. For sacrifice. For sacrifice. And let them go for my children. Come on. Declare, declare, declare. Declare, declare. Declare, declare. I <laughs> Where you cannot go, Jesus will go ahead of you. Anyone that wants to assign your precious one for evil sacrifice, yes. amen. The God you serve will slay them. Amen. amen. It may be I've been working for them before. When they took the children there, they sacrificed themselves. Hear this and hear it very well. Are they just think of your own? Amen. They just mentioned that name. You know, before they go for the execution, they first of all have the doctor. Am I right? At that moment, they are having the talk. The death from above will locate them. Amen. The sword of God will pierce them. Amen. He said, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. He said, When my God, your God, turn every situation around you, it will be like a dream. Rather, it's more a reality. 
But when God is involved, things don't matter. We are going to say this morning, tonight, turn around, turn around. But your case is turning around. Amen. Turn around, turn around. Say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. This program will not end. 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 This year will not end. This year will not end. Until my glory manifests for us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jesus, come on, come on, come on. 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 This in Jesus name we pray Amen. Every 
of shaking bone must be shaken. Yes. Amen. The one they can prove it, this cannot be shaken. It's a concluded case. Who concluded it? The devil. The devil cannot conclude something against you as you come to pass. It is the one God concluded against you that will be speaking. It doesn't matter how they plan, it doesn't matter how they are ready. The arrangement of the enemy we have been speaking before, from today for it can no longer be speaking again. Yeah. Verse 2. As we have said, when our case is settled, then was our mouth filled with laughter. Did you hear that? When our case, hey, let somebody say, My case or not? My case or not? My case or not? My case or not?
you are here, you are hearing the sound of our mouth before. There is a chest pain and you are always feeling. Whenever you are feeling it, feel, you feel pain at your back. <laughs> Wherever you are coming, just a touch. That pain cannot cross over with you. Amen. I said that pain cannot cross over with you. Amen. Jesus, the most high, is here to now. To set you free from that pain. Amen. To set you free from that pain. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak to your chest. Holy Ghost. I speak to your chest. Whatsoever devil. The Lord is even saying, when you are drinking water, sometimes you feel pain in that chest. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The power of them is resting upon you now. Taking it away. Taking it away. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You pay in the chest. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, begin to pack your boat. Whatsoever that have brought you into this life. Pack your load and go. Pack your load and go. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. You pay. I command you to disappear. Amen. Out of this body and never to return. Amen. Yes. I hear the Lord say it's a set of kiss. Amen. You pay, disappear and never to come. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's a set of kiss. Amen. You pay, disappear and never to come. Amen. Disappear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Disappear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Disappear in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And never to show forth your face again. Yes, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. I hear the Lord say it's set of kiss. Amen. 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 Read the last verse for me, son. Hallelujah. And that's our work of the Last verse. Yes. Say, so he that goeth forth and weeping, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his shame with him. Amen. I want to tell you to now. I don't know the weeping you are weeping secrets. I speak joy into that weeping now. Amen. Amen. Into that weeping. Amen. I speak joy into that weeping. Amen. That weeping you have been weeping for years, for months, for days, for weeks. Holy Ghost, turn it to joy for them. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Ghost. We fire. fire. 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 I turn your weeping to joy. Amen. Our 2018 is running up. All your pain, all your sorrow, all your weeping, the Lord is turning it to joy for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, More than ever before. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every of your glory that have been covered in marriage, in fruitfulness, in health, in your job, in your career. I speak restoration to them all. Amen. I speak restoration to them all. Amen. I speak restoration to them all. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Give you all the right of the What a mighty God you are. Exalt his majesty. Exalt his name. Exalt his name. Thank you, Lord. Let my son turn over shortly, Allah. Worship him. Worship him. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Oh, adore him. Adore him is your father. He's worthy of your praise. He's worthy of your thanks. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He brought you to the last part of the year. Oh, thank you, Lord. You are seeing the last days of the year. I appreciate it. You are seeing the last Saturday of the year. You are seeing the last Sunday. You are seeing the last Monday.
Not to himself. Thank you, Jesus. It takes God's nothing to turn your situation around. Glory, Lord. Glory, Lord. Begin to talk to God concerning your life. Because something is turning around in your life. You can't be the same again. Can you listen and be sensitive now? This is about you, your personal issue, your individual issue. Oh, committing your life into the hands of God. That situation must become a testimony. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, because your case is already before him. Oh, glory, Lord. Glory, Lord. Abba, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, I can see everything turning around for your good. Is your eyes open to what the Lord is doing? He's turning around for your good, for your testimony, for your wonders, for your glory. Who says your glory will not speak? I can see things turning around. Can you begin to talk to God? Hey, who says that call on your life will be a reproach? Who says that what you are doing, you will not speak glory? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, I am 
courageous. That will make you focus. Lift up your two hands where you are there. You need the anointing. You need the anointing. You need the anointing to understand the battles around you so that you take your stand and fight because your glory must speak. Amen. Your glory must speak. Amen. Jesus said, resist the devil and the reward he will flee from you. Resisting that evil force from your foundation, from your father's house, from your place of work, from your office, around you, around your life. Abba Father. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah God. Holy Ghost. There's a man hearing the sound of my voice. You keep dreaming that your money is hung. That your blessing is being hung. Things that is for you, you keep saying that they are being hung. You keep trying to take your head, God reaching it. Wherever you are, take a step of faith forward. Take a step of faith forward. You keep dreaming. The good things of life that belongs to you, keep seeing it. It's hard that you will be trying to take it. You can't take it on your own. It will take the power of God to pull it for you. Wherever you are, I want you to come closer. Because the anointing of God will set you free. He's a covenant keeping God. You are a Christian, you go to church. You go to church. You need to come forward. You need a greater grace. You need a greater anointing. Marasa palabo sotoruboshite. Oh Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah is your name. Because your hour of freedom has come. You are here. It's your freedom has come. Amen. You need to take a step of faith for one. You have been praying about it, fasting about it. It's not over. It's all about covenant. It takes a higher covenant to break a covenant. It is a higher covenant. Who says your glory will not speak? La sondo ropo sheteleda. Holy Ghost, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What God has for you is for you. Amen. After now, don't see me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because the Lord said, You are hearing the sound of my voice. Now, now don't see me. Keep hanging. There's no issue of a whole you or a whole me. It's for you to receive what God has for you by time. Except otherwise, the grace is released. Holy Ghost, my fire. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I sanctify this environment with your power, yes, with your blood. Yes, I bring Jesus. everything under control. Amen. Your name must be glorified. Amen. The glory of these ones must speak. Amen. Today, an anointing is coming into your life yes, to equip you for battle. 
yes, to take your place in the Lord Amen. so that everything God has for you will speak in your life. Amen. You are ready not this year in Christ Jesus. Amen. And you are entering the new year 2019 in Christ Jesus. Amen. It's a new dawn. It's a new beginning for you. Because it's a great God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you can't be the same again. Amen. It takes nothing for God to turn the life of a man around. To turn the life of a woman around. You that is afraid of that calling, of that thing God wants you to do, tonight your understanding shall be opened. Amen. Obedient will bring you blessings. Amen. We bring you breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because God is a faithful God. Yes, faithful He is. He's on the throne. And the earth is His first shield. Yes, Holy Ghost has sanctified the environment with your power, yes, with your blood. Yes, and I rest every year. Yes. I bring everything under control. Amen. Because your word must penetrate tonight. Amen. Souls must be saved tonight. Amen. People who are in darkness, who are so to see, will be broken tonight. Amen. And say, Jesus, I can't help myself. Yes. Jesus, take over. Yes. Lord, take over the atmosphere. Amen. This I decree yes, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Don't be sick there. Hallelujah. The thing before us, my glory must was speak. I want to hit on two things this night before we pray that random. I handle on that things that God will lay in the house. I want to let you know that it is God's plan for your glory to speak. He created you with glory. Glory has to do with honor, it has to do with splendor, it has to do with majestic position, peace of honor, peace that makes you relevant. When there is a glory in your life, you can never be relegated, you can never be pushed aside. You are somebody anywhere you go. Can somebody say, I hear? When the glory of God is in your life, you are relevant, you are useful. In the family, in the company, in the organization, in the street, in the environment. You are not just a nobody. You are someone to be reckoned with. You become an individual people want to identify with. When your glory is speaking, you see far relation begin to say, he's my brother, he's my sister. Are you with me? Yes, Hallelujah. When your glory is speaking, people around you will say, yes, we are friends. We are in the same neighborhood. But when your glory is not spoken, who know you go even back you? That is not your portion in Jesus' name. Yeah. God created you to be useful. You are not on earth by accident. You are not on earth by mistake. You are created for a purpose. If anyone have told you that you don't have a bright star, you don't have a good glory, it's a lie from the pit of hell. There's no one God created without glory. Amen. Amen. God designated every individual for a place of honor, a place of majesty, a place of value, a place of kingship. The first link to it is salvation. Ask yourself, am I saved? Ask yourself, am I saved? I didn't say now, do you go to church? I'm asking, am I salvation? Am I saved? Am I a child of God? Have I given my life to Christ? Have I given my life to Christ? That is the, the foundation of it. 
Because God already created you so that your glory should speak. That's why in Genesis 1 26, he said, God made man in what? In his own what? Image. God made man in his own image. After our likeness, he said, Let us make man in our own image. After our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. A man that his glory is not speaking cannot have dominion. It takes somebody whose glory is speaking to dominate, to be in charge. So you are created for dominion. You should know the original capacity. You should know what you are loaded with. So when you know it, you enforce it. Standing on the word of God. Have dominion. That's why you go to verse 28. He said that God bless them. And said be fruitful and multiply. Someone whose glory is speaking. Is fruitful. Because when you are bearing fruit. It shows that your glory's word is speaking. You are not permitted to have a better yesterday. It's God's agenda. That's why those who know me knows that I do declare it is not in God's war for yesterday to be better than today. For last month to be better than this month. For last year to be better than this year. So that is why I'm talking to you now. I know that I know that next year will be better for you than this year. Amen. If you are in agreement, can you stand up and say amen? Amen. amen. Next year will be better for you than this year. Amen. amen. Because anyone whose glory is speaking, it moves from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why Proverbs 4, 8 say, 18 says, The part of the just is what? As a shining light. That shineth more and more unto the perfect day. When your glory is speaking, you keep shining. You bear fruit. You multiply. You replenish the earth. You become even a blessing to those around you. It takes a man whose glory is speaking to be a blessing. When your glory is not speaking, you become a problem to people around you. You become what? A problem to the people around you. And that is not God's plan. So it doesn't matter whether as of today you are a problem to the people around you. The Lord is saying your story must change. Amen. Your story must change Amen. from story to glory. Amen. All you just need to do is to allow God have his way in your life. Let God take over. All that concerns you. You must multiply. You must have dominion. You must be fruitful. And you take charge. It's God's plan for our glory to speak. You are not another man. You are not another woman. You are yourself. You have your own glory. You have your own agenda. There are things specifically God has planned for you and you alone. You don't need to bother yourself with others' own. Amen. You are a special body created specially. The glory of one person is not the glory of another. That's why the sky is too great for everyone to fly. So there is no need to be jealous of each other. You have your place, you have your position. That's why no matter how many singers we have on the earth today, every singer have his glory. No matter how many ministers we have on earth today, every minister called of God has his word, his glory. Hallelujah. Has his glory, has his assignment. No matter how many engineers, how many doctors, how many lawyers, how many architects, name all the professions. 
we have on earth today, every single one have his glory. All that should concern you is to declare, my glory must what? Speak. Can you say that with your lips? My glory must speak. Say the second time. My glory must speak. Say the third time. My glory must speak. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's ignorance. That's what many people to think. Until I push another person, I, my glory will not speak. That's why that's what makes some people even common shop, common kiosk. I don't know how to explain it now. Where they are just selling sweet and biscuits. Amen. Where they are just selling sweet and biscuits. Or five five naira. Okay, you will see there going to use one thousand to do charm because they made the other person not say pass me. Ignorance. That's why you see people in offices, in organizations, in work. You think until you take another person home. Oh, that is a lie from the pit of hell. That's why you see some people. The more they are moving, the more their problem is increasing. Because why? They have put their hands here and there. Pushing people into a problem. Remember, scripture cannot be broken. Whatsoever a man soweth, thou shall he also what? Reap. And remember, get this misery. You don't reap the way you plant. Because no one plant one maize and reap one maize. No one plant one seed of orange and reap one seed of orange. They cause in multiplication. So stop working in error. As many hearing the sound of my voice, stop using your head to plant evil. Call landlords, stop troubling each other. Because everyone has his word, his glory. Call tenants, sometimes you will see tenants. In face me, I face you. You will ask, what did they drag? <laughs> Amen. Everyone has his glory. Why can't you mind your issue? Mind your issue. You are delaying yourself without knowing. Somebody said from far, I hear you, sir. God will bless you more and more. Mind your issue. As we are ending 2018, repent. And then turn you the 2019 with a changed mind. You will see that your glory will speak. What are you dragging? You see your neighbor children gain a mission. It's all you to rejoice with them. Celebrate God. God will do their own, go do your own. You are looking for how to turn their brain to selfie. Somebody was testifying in the barrack yesterday that, he, that after the prayer on Thursday, because we did two days to say the barrack. Am I getting the days right? But today is Saturday. Hallelujah. So that is on Thursday and Friday. Two days to say the barrack. A sister who came, a graduate from Uniben, and after that also have a master's degree, but not able to attain. He has lost two of his brothers. But after the proud Thursday, the angel of the Lord operated on her on that Thursday night to Friday, opening her brain, and that's when I begin to see that there's something weighing them down. That why is not able to maximize there are cellophane already put in her brain. She was certifying that the angel of the law took them away. That even God showed her the dead brothers. Those ones said, We are already dead, we can't do anything again. So you that see her life is only you now. She just came to visit a relation in the barrack. But the crusade of my glory must speak affected her life yesterday. Amen. And we are witness when she was testifying yesterday. Oh, yes. Yes, and the better people were glorifying God. <laughs> so to rejoice with others, with what God is doing in others' life. Celebrating with others. You are created for glory. Your glory must speak. Amen. Must speak. It's a great call. Doing great things. Can you talk with me briefly to 1 Corinthians 15, 14? 
to let you know that everyone has his glory. In 1 Corinthians 15, 14, I read. 1 Corinthians 15, 14. He said, there are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one. And the glory of the terrestrial is another. Hallelujah. The fish, which is an aquatic animal who lives in the water, has his body. The base of the air, an arboreal animal, that, that, that flies in the air has its body. The glory of the fish is different from the glory of the bird. Everyone has his word, his glory. Stop disturbing yourself concerning all that issue. Face your issue. And let God keep solving your own. Can you say, I hear you, sir? I hear you, sir. Because your glory must speak. Amen. Rejoice with others. When God is doing things concerning all that life. They are not taking your own. You have your own to fulfill. Amen. That's why in ministry, that's what I believe in. Everyone have his calling. When we're in a, when we are in a vessel, the pastor yes are my weakness. The church offers us your building. I contributed money to their building. The pastor said they are weakness. Here we see an I shalom. I saw the opposite roofing. We were having a lot of things to do that time. I sent them some money also. I said, this money can buy them a bottle of zinc. Because why? I have my glory. They have their glory. You are in face me, I face you. What are you tracking? Are you tracking? Pot of soup. My chicken is bigger than your own. Amen. Brothers and sisters, what are you tracking? Found out are you tracking? Everyone have his glory. Stay up each other. Be there for each other to maximize. Is it competition? It's a great call. Are you in First Corinthians 15 14? He said the celestial bodies. Do you know the celestial bodies? Those are the, the celestials. The bodies that is above, they are different from the earthly bodies. But the splendor of the heavenly bodies is one kind. And the splendor, I love this translation, and the splendor of the earthly bodies is another. This is NIV. They have their splendors. They have their glory to fulfill. Evil twists, each has their glory. That's why even the thumbprint of identical twins is not identical. It differs. Because God did not make mistake. It's a great call. Amen. Amen. Verse 41 says, There's one glory of the sun. Can you see 1 Corinthians 15 41? It says, There's one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon. Moon has its glory, the sun has its glory. Each has his own. Face your own. And let God keep multiplying you. Have his own. Let God keep multiplying you. So have his glory, the more have his glory. And another glory of the star. Hallelujah. Even the star has its glory. It's different. The glory of the star is different from that of the sun. It's different from that of the moon. It has its glory. Look for that. And look at what the scripture says. It says, For one star differs from another star in glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you put the person to you? You are a star, Mr. Star. Star. Our glory different. One star glory differs from another star. I believe you. Different from an understand. Sometimes we are, some of us are doing ourselves without knowing. You are the one doing yourself. You don't pray, burn devil, burn, 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 devil refuse to burn. Because you are the, your mind is the one doing you. Change your mind. Change your thinking. Have a large heart. 
Mr. Sodomi can testify. My house, I want everybody to move. Hallelujah. Give them platform to bounce. And that's why God will begin to bring more people. Just I was in Texas about last month, that is in the United States. A minister just joined our branch there in Texas. He has been in South Africa for years as a missionary worker. He said, Man of God, I'll be hearing about you. Because I, you allow people to maximize. Why? Because I believe everybody has his word, his glory. His glory. Amen. Amen. To speak, to maximize. What's that glory? Differs from another. So, lay hold of that which God has for you. Don't be an issue to God's agenda concerning your life. Your glory must speak. Amen. Your glory must speak. So have that light heart. Hey, Holy Ghost, something is coming to my mind. I just message you for somebody. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know this... Uh, what they call them, whether JND, Chianchi, or one of those products yeah. that use organogram, what do I mean? Yeah. That, that, they, that they do this in the form of a, a, a ladder. Yeah. The one is on top. Mm. When you are on top, you connect to two, and that two connect to four, and that four connect to eight, and that eight connect to 16, and that 16 connect to 32, and that 32 connect to 64. It keep going and going and going, and that 64 connect to 100 and, 128. Do you understand that now? Yes, Amen. Then, that one that is on top, what is happening? It's what? Higher. It's moving higher and higher. higher. So the Lord is saying, some of you here are not moving because you don't want anybody to rise under you. Oh, no. Can somebody get that revelation? Yes, the Lord just said that to me now. Some of you are not moving because you don't want anybody to move under you. That's why you are where you are. If you look at that scenario I don't use, you know why you climb there easily? You are not so climbing. People under you are, are not raising people. That's why such people, they easily give their car tear over. Because there are people under there. Repent. 2019 is for you. Your glory more. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Let to so being a hindrance to yourself, yes, be an instrument to raise people. Hey, Small thing when you know, you the guy that you don't want anybody to know. You don't want to teach them. You don't want to teach them. Hey, I know this thing for music now. I don't want to teach anybody. I know I'm for connection. I don't want to teach anybody. I know this thing for Bible. I don't want to teach anybody. I know this thing for teaching. I know you are just drying yourself. That's why you are in the church. You are prayed and prayed and prayed. You are so sick. It's not as if the church is your problem. Because you refuse to change your mind. Have a large heart. When you have a large heart, large things will begin to happen to you. I don't know. Hey. Jesus. Have a large heart. Have a large heart. Have a large heart. Have a large heart. Solomon was having a large heart. They take him a day. Hundreds of cows be slaughtered just to feed people. Have a large heart. Large heart bring large blessings. Large heart bring expansions. Yes. Large heart make glory to speak. Yes, sir. Your glory must speak. Amen. Amen. Jesus. We must speak. Have a large heart. God is too faithful. God is too great. He made it out of nothing. I do say to people, I didn't know Lagos. When God said I'm starting church in Lagos, at least if you go to power flow, you know God has done something there. Have a large heart. Amen. Amen. Going to speak. A large heart. For the purpose of God to be accomplished in your life. 
Because the glory of one star is different from the glory of another star. Everyone has his word, his glory. glory. Has his glory. 2019, begin to think of how to raise people. The more you raise people, the more you are raised. You know how to pray, raise people in prayers. You know how to teach, raise people in, in teaching. You know how to evangelize, raise people in evangelism. You know how to give, raise people in giving. In whatsoever, raise people. And God will be raising you. I say, and God will be what? Raising you. Yeah. Because your glory must speak. You raise you. That's more for don't be dragging. We, if you come, I will take my position. That's why you are in that position. You forgot that, that, you that position you are. The position was one ask. Why are you for not doing the road? Why is it that you don't do some the road? It is within the city. You see, uh, if we finish the old road, the next position, which one do we come to? <laughs> it is the, the ticking. <laughs> And the road they are saying they are doing now, repairing, and drugs that we had tied 10 years, 20 years ago. That's the one they say, ah, we do some. And they just come, come and do some. Amen. So they didn't think that if they finish all the way in the city now, that the new one will come and open up new places. They didn't think that one. They didn't think that one. They didn't think that one. Go to developed country. Before you know it, every bush become a city. Every bush become a city. Because these are things I see all the time. Every bush become a city. Tying the road, doing everything. So why we are thinking of doing the one around us? So you are thinking those little things. So you are not thinking. When you raise people, you move forward. You promote it. That's why I believe in raising ministers. Amen. Amen. Because I know the more they are raised, the more I'm moving. And it's evident already. Amen. It's evident. I don't need to preach that again. The more they are raised, the more I'm moving. Amen. So, even God is saying by fire, by force, your glory must speak. Amen. Amen. The purpose of God must be accomplished in your life. Amen. You must be what God wants you to be. Amen. Those systematic yoke the devil is using to tie you down must be broken. Amen. Out of your life must be broken. How will you be able to have all this done? Just note these two things the fear of God and the love of God. You have the fear of God and you have the love of God in heart. You'll be able to do these things. But when you don't fear God, your heart can be hardened. I keep doing what you feel like doing and just continue. But some things will soon overtake you if you didn't change. Because God is not a man. He's a great God. Amen. So the fear of God and the love of God will help you. Hallelujah. Amen. What did I say? The fear of God and the love of God will, want, will help you. If you look at Psalm 25, Psalm 25 verse 14. He said the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. We want God to show you some secrets, some mysteries that will keep making your glory to speak. It's where you have the fear of God in your heart. When you fear God, you don't walk in sin. Sin can never make glory to speak. Hallelujah. They are two opposites opposite things. Sin can never make glory to speak. So when you fear God, you reverence him, you honor him. You, you, you run from sin. That's why Joseph could say, I can't do this wickedness against my master and against my God. Because he fears God. That's why Daniel will say, Daniel wants age. That I will not corrupt myself with the portion of the king's mate. Those are products of when you have the fear of God in heart. 
He said, the secret of the law is with them that fear him. When God gives you his secrets, no man can oppress you. No man can relegate you. You keep moving from glory to glory. Get prepared. Your glory must speak. The fire by fire. Let me say, it must speak. If there any area, sin has kept in repent, renounce and reject, and take your place in Christ, so that the purpose of God can be accomplished in your life, to the glory of his name. And God will be giving you more secrets, more revelations. Opening you up to his covenant of blessings. It doesn't matter what anything we do. You keep moving from one glory to another. The fear of God. That's why the scripture says, it's the beginning of world wisdom. The departure from evil is understanding. Amen. It's what? It's understanding. The fear of the Lord of wisdom. In Job 28, 28. The part of from evil is understanding. Then the second one for we pray now. The love for God. Remember in John 3, 16, he said for God so loved the world that he gave to the begotten soul. He loves you first. All we need is to reciprocate. If you love God, it will reflect in the way you work for God. In the way you do the things of God. Amen. Service to God, you are not helping anybody. You are helping yourself. Until you come to that knowledge, you go nowhere. Service to God, you, you are not helping anybody. Hallelujah. Amen. So no matter how you interpret it to yourself, it's a life from the pit of hell. I'm serving God because I know this person. I'm serving God because I'm close to that person. No. I'm doing this service. No. If you understand God and you love him, and you understand service to him, you will know it's a connection to your glory. Service, connection to your glory. Connection to your glory. I can look back to campus, I can look back to village, I can look back to town, look back to many years back. It was all love and passion for God. Service sacrificially. And I can count all the blessings that follow. Blessings I was not expecting, they were locating me. And many of you are evidence also. Many of you are witness of this. So service of God is a product of your love for God. So love God with passion. Because when there's love, there'll be sacrifice. Love make God to sacrifice Jesus. Love will make you to keep sacrificing. To keep serving in every area. And you keep moving from glory to glory. Amen. Amen. If you look at 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2 9. He said, But as it is written, eyes are not seen, ear have not heard, neither have it entered the heart of, of them, the things which God has prepared for them that word that love him. What God has for them that love him? Hallelujah. Even the heart has not imagined it. So let your passion, let your love keep burning for God. You want your glory to speak? Let your love for God be a burning seed. Your love, let it be a burning passion. So it was the same we say, nah, why should say, now lay in the dead? Because you are using your time, you are using your strength. Hey, why should say, now lay in the dead? Don't listen. They are language from the pit of hell. If you have somebody who passionately, because of love, give it to the work of God. Hey, once you're saying get money, don't listen. It's language from the pit of hell. Because the love for God will make you do extra things. And those extra things will draw extra glory into your life. Extra glory. Things you can't do for yourself, you see God doing them for you. Doors you cannot open by yourself, you see God opening them for you. So, have this understanding and you keep moving from one level to another and the glory of God will keep speaking in your life your glory must speak let's rise on our feet Holy Ghost by fire 
my rent the layer. Begin to pray for yourself. Let God enter your life. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice. Let God enter you. Let him enter you in an unusual way. Because your glory must speak. It's a settled case in the rest of the city. with your power. No. My shout to the Lord. Reset the level. 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 God is giving you peace. He's giving you revelation. Peace that will make your glory to speak. Whether within or without, in office or in the church, in family or otherwise, all around, the glory of God to keep speaking. My son God have a glory for you which must speak. Abba Father, I thank you. Oh Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost, I thank you. My Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. In thy name of Jesus. I want to pray for yourself. Because many of us hinder our glory speaking without knowing. That by this word coming out, your understanding must be open Amen. on every side. Amen. That devil is a liar. Yes. He can't trick you again, can't manipulate you. Amen. Every area your glory need to speak. Amen. It must speak. Amen. You need to pray for yourself. Sin will no longer have dominion over you. Sin will no longer manipulate you to walk in error. Disobedient will not be your portion. The spirit of obedience, instruction, reversing God, reversing the things of God. To make glory should begin to be speaking on every side. The purpose of God must be speaking in your life. It's a great God. It's Jesus. When Jesus is in God, things must happen. Things must turn around. The purpose of God must be. Oh, Jesus. Let us go. Oh, Pray for yourself. Every area you now pray for yourself again Lord, say my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Every area, every area, I'll be doing myself. I'll be doing myself ignorantly. Ignorantly, Lord, Lord, expose them up to me. Expose them up to me. No stone will be left unturned. No stone will be left unturned because I know. Because I know. No devil can stop me. No man can stop me. No woman can stop me. No woman can stop me. My glory must be. My glory must be. It's only me that can stop myself. I decree upon you now. I receive. Holy Ghost. With the fire. Jehovah God. The foundation is laid today in this place. In this crusade done here. 
Abba Father, the glory of everyone here must be. Amen. Everyone hearing the sound of my voice, Ghost, it's not where you are now that matters. Yes, Lord. It's not your challenges now that matter. Yes, Lord. It's what God can do we are talking about. Yes, yes, Lord. Because it's a God that can make things out of nothing. Yes, Lord. So whatsoever in you, making your glory not to speak, Jesus. I command them to die. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every mindset, every deception, every ignorance, every joke of sins and Jesus. oppression that have been operating in your life, Jesus. I decree they can't cross over with you. Amen. I decree they are not following you home. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are dropping them in this crusade. Yes, Lord. Amen. You are dropping them in this program. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I frustrate every satanic agenda. Yes, every area they thought they have laid hold of your mind. Amen. Lay hold of your mindset. Jesus. Lay hold of your spirit, soul, and body. Yes, you are delivered. Amen. You are delivered. Amen. You are delivered. Amen. You are delivered. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. In Jesus. Every external forces oh. that be capitalizing on your errors, Jesus. capitalizing on your sin, Jesus. capitalizing on your ignorance, Jesus. using it to steal your glory. Jesus. Their work have expired today. Amen. Can I hear your amen? amen. amen. Their work has expired today. Amen. amen. Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because with this word you set us out, so that the glory of these words can speak, so that everyone in this environment, their glory will speak. Amen. Amen. Lord, so shall it be. Amen. I release angels to visit everyone tonight. Yes, Lord. Let's all the rock of position to circumcise every heart, to operate every heart, turning the heart of stone to flesh. Yes, Lord. Just as it happened in Ezekiel 36. Lord, wrought your wonders. Yes, Lord Jesus. It's a new beginning. Yes, Lord. It's a new dawn. Yes, Lord. It's settled yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This miracle of salvation will start speaking in your life. Amen. Amen. This miracle of deliverance will start speaking in your life. Amen. Amen. So shall it be Amen. Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come to Thank you, Jesus. 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 Clap your hands.